All right, I'm gonna be starting my OBS recording. So guys, I have to clarify something real quick. <clears throat> I accidentally deleted the first clip of the video, which is explaining why I hated the Yearbook Avenue uh, video, uh, not video, uh, image editor, and uh, explaining why Canvas is better. And uh, so I accidentally deleted that clip. So that's just a little bit, I'm saying that so you know the reference. Now, so I decided to do this better. So like, watch, if I were to drag something down, okay, and I'm trying not to like images of my friend's stuff here, not my friends, but you know, people in my class, and they wouldn't be too fond of that. So watch, say, so I drag this in, right? Goes over stuff, that's because it's all top, right? Now you think since this is older, it'll go under it. Of course, now it actually does it. Thanks. It wasn't doing that earlier. Sometimes I would drag in, in Really? I drag in images and it would um, not set the layers so it's like so whenever there's something older it would actually just go under it. So that's why I put these little these things right here. They just go over each other and I'm like, but I had this I didn't drag that in until later. So it's called forward and backup and I've been having to manually do it most of the time, which is annoying. Something they should fix. <sighs> And the thing on the side, normally I don't have any complaints about the stuff on the left side, except for the fact that all, I want to talk to my teacher about this, he might have something different, because I don't like how all the photos are shared, it's confusing, I can't find the thing I literally just uploaded, I hate it. <laughs> uh, art, nothing wrong with that, everything on the left. One thing I hate, the text has no typography options, except like one thing, and I hate it. So you see where it says about me? I can't spread it out. I cannot spread it out and it's so annoying. This doesn't have anything. I can align it, but that won't do nothing. And I thought, line spacing, finally, I'll be able to make it like space between each letter. Nope, not that kind of line spacing. And I can't use any of these. I can't figure out why. Yeah, this editor's not great, guys. I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Compared to something that's free, I don't know if this is even free. I hope it's not. I mean, I hope it is, I mean, because it's not great. Like, I remember in uh, Digital Arts, we are using something called Photo P, and even that's better than this. Like, look, it doesn't tell you if you're aligned with the middle of the page or not. Like, watch. I'm gonna compare it to Canva, which is totally 100% free. Um, and also has stuff, right? So what I did was I took a thing and exported it. I don't know if I'll be allowed to do this, but I'm probably going to do it anyway. <laughs> what I want to do is instead of actually doing it in here, because we uh, we have to use this for your book, what I'll probably do, even though it's going to be harder on myself, is probably take it, put everything in here, and then we'll download the image, and then bring it in here. But that means if there's something messed up, I have to go back in here and change it and re-download it and then put it back in here. Which isn't really that big of, big of a deal, it just sounds like a lot, but whatever. I just, this editor is so bad, there's barely any text. It's like, it feels like it's incomplete. And I don't know if that's because Yearbook Avenue is a new company or what's going on, but it is not great. This editor is borderline basic. And there's a lot of basic editors out there just on the Microsoft Store that can do a lot more. It's just, I don't know, something's weird about it. See, look at this. Like, it looks awful. I'll probably want to get a bad grade on this because it just looks awful. <sighs> I ain't messing with it. Then watch. Now I know it's aligned in the middle of the page. That right there is enough to get me to switch. It's more, this one's more organized, you got more things you can use, you got different fonts, like a lot more than what you get on this other website. You get all kinds of backgrounds, you get photo styles, audio, I mean this thing has everything. You can, you can even make QR codes for free! This website, I hate it. But it also serves good because you can see what your other peers are doing and see if they've got their stuff done. So I don't think this is the only reason why the school switched over to this. <laughs> I just hate it. This editor is not great compared to using Photoshop or 
literally using anything else. Like, if you guys want to make some photos online, there's some editors I'd recommend. I'll probably make a video about that. Um, but I'd recommend using Canva or Photopea. I don't remember what the other one was. Um, but it was a really good editor. I'll ask my digital arts teacher. Well, she's not, I don't have her for digital arts anymore, but she was awesome. She, uh, I remember one of them was Photopea, and I don't remember the other one. I'll email her. Weird question, comma. Do you remember what editors we used for online last year in digital arts besides Photopea? Photo P is pretty good, but I think Canva takes the cake. Like, yeah, I think it has most features. Like, I would totally buy Canva Pro, but I just don't use it all the time. But it's pretty good stuff. Like, watch, I can actually... Sorry, see, like, letter spacing. Can't do that in the other one. Like, that is something that's so important. That's just called typography. And I'm just like, there's other editors. See, this also has like a line to page. See, look, I can align it to page. I know the other one probably has that, but I shouldn't have to do it manually like that. It's just, it takes extra time. But, ugh, yeah, ugh. I hate it. And yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. I will be compiling a list of best online photo editors so stay tuned for that it'd be a top five but that's just a, some of the reasons if I really wanted to go in depth I can really blow the other one out of the water I think the QR code's pretty cool pics I don't know what this is embeds heck we might as well just use this for our year but dang it's pretty it's pretty Gucci <clears throat> Dang, I didn't even know they had that. Look, see, this thing has everything. And most of it you can use for free. <coughs> you see, what Canva does is, what they do is they have, every section has something free, but also has something paid. Which is cool, because that means they're, because some places will just take a whole section. Be like, no, you gotta pay to use this section. So let's like, say, embeds. Let's say there's no embeds. I can't use any unless I pay for a subscription. But, some websites will do that, but this one will probably be like, for example, you can use some, but not all. Like, I think that's a good compromise, and I think that's so cool. And I think that this is cool, too, that it automatically comes with a background remover. I mean, I just use background.bg. I think that's what it's called. Remove.bg. But, yeah, pretty good stuff. I totally recommend using Canva. I mean, it's free. Come on. And yeah, that's in this video. Bye.